Hello, my name is Stas. I'm a senior support engineer at Tipco JasperSoft. And in this video, I would like to talk about the usage of themes in JasperReports IO JavaScript API. The purpose of this video is to have a closer look at how exactly theme files are used when making JavaScript API calls and clarify some things which may not be obvious by just looking at JasperReports IO documentation. First, let's have a look at JasperReports IO user guide and we will open section configuring the JasperReports IO client. In this section, we see a number of parameters which are used to set up the JRIO client. And there are mandatory parameters such as server, scripts location, and locale. And there are other parameters which are non-mandatory, and one of them is the theme. And according to the guide, the theme parameter specifies the URL to the folder containing the JustPurports IO JavaScript UI theme files. Now let's also take a quick look at another section a little further down. And this one is called Customizing the UI with Themes. It's a very brief section and it basically tells us that we can customize the theme CSS files to change the layout of the reports which we render using the JavaScript API when making calls to Jasper Reports IO server. So let's open the folder, the Jasper Reports IO root folder and have a look where the themes are actually located. We will go to the JRIO folder and then we'll go to web apps, JRIO client and here we have themes. And you can see there are four themes shipped with just purports IO distribution. And each theme has a number of CSS files. Now let's open a sample with just purports IO JavaScript API call. And for that, we will open the documentation page for just purports IO. And we will look at the JavaScript API samples. And let's, for example, open a sample for a search functionality. Here let's start at the top section where the JRIOJS script is being called. This script is very similar to the visualize.js script used by Jasper Report Server and it's looking for pretty much the same theme files as the visualize.js script. So if we look down here we see that there is a theme parameter which is pointing to the location of the default theme files. Now, if we explore the actual rendered report, so I'm going to open the browser console again, and I'm going to look uh, at this table component in the report, we will see that apparently there is only one CSS file being referenced in the section of the browser development tools which tells us what styling is applied to the page. So we can see that there is Jive CSS being referenced by this header in the table component. That is the only CSS file which is being used by JavaScript API calls to Jasper Reports IO. None of other theme CSS files are used at all, and even this file is only relevant when we have a table component in the report, because that's where Jive is used. If you only have, for example, chart or other report elements which are not table component, you will not have any theme files referenced by a rendered report when making an API call. So, with that in mind, if you want to customize the layout of the rendered reports, the way to do this is to actually follow a different section in the documentation, which is called Customizing the UI with CSS. It's section 551. It's also really brief, but it gives an example of the customization you do. You will customize the CSS on the client side. And now if we go back to the sample in JS Fiddle, we have the CSS in this top right corner and this is where the customization happens in, in this case. Just as an example, I'm, I'm making a slight modification to the CSS and it is getting applied to the rendered report. 
So as far as the themed CSS files go, the only change that can have any effect on the rendered report with JavaScript API is the jive.css file. If you're not interested in changing that file in particular, you can skip the theme parameter altogether when, making, when configuring the JRIO client, and this will not have any effect on how your report is rendered when making a JavaScript call. Now lastly, if you're wondering how the theme files are used in JustReports.io at all, we can have a look at the built-in report viewer. So I'm going to open the report gallery and I will open any of the reports. So this is where the themes are actually used. And if we explore any element of the web interface here, we can see that this time there are a number of theme CSS files that are being referenced. In this case, the themes actually make a difference. That's it. Thank you for watching.